All right, uh, Jay, Trend Magazine Online interview. S. Epatha Murkison, Monday, July 29th, National Black Theater Festival. All right, first of all, thanks again for seeing me. Uh, I'd like to say uh, two years ago I had the same luck with uh, Mr. Terman. Oh, really? I interviewed him right after, you know, the opening ceremonies. Mm -hmm. And uh, like yourself, he was receiving a special reward. Mm -hmm. Or is it award? Award. Award, yeah. okay. <laughs> the award is rewarding. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, just want to ask a few questions about yourself and mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of the things you've been working on and mm -hmm. working with sure. over the past couple of years. I'd like to first of all say that I've been a Law & Order fan for since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, when your character appeared, I was saying, you know, I hope she stays on there. <laughs> You know, and then show after show and year after year. Yeah. You're on there after they were cutting people. People were dying and moving. And unfortunately, uh, you know, with, with Mr. Uh, Orbach, mm -hmm. Mr. Orbach mm -hmm. when he passed away, I mean, that was devastating mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the theater is where you started, mm -hmm. based on what yes. I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. And uh, now starting out in the, into the, in the theater and then making the transition into the movies of big screen mm -hmm. uh, was that difficult or was it natural no I think it was a natural flow I mean I, I yeah I did start in theater I have a bachelor of fine art in theater yeah, yeah. from Wayne yeah. State University uh -huh. and uh, so yeah it was a natural sort of flow you know you you work let people see the kind of work that you do mm -hmm. uh, you know to let them know that you're dependable that you come right. through with the goods okay. and you continue to you know try to work in a way that will uh, have you growing each piece that you do each time that you work that you're learning something new and I think that it is if you stay long enough, there is this sort of natural flow mm -hmm. where you start, people get to know you, and you right. start auditioning and and uh, looking towards doing a little television or film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it a bit daunting, though, going from no, one genre no. to... No, not really. I mean, the, they both, all three have their certain focuses that, you know, you use certain muscles for them. Mm -hmm. I think probably the only adjustment that actors have to make is that they have to be much smaller for television and film than you. The stage, you need all of your power, but okay. the camera tends to pick up everything that okay. you need. So you have to find a way to sort of hone in all of that energy that you use on stage because okay. you don't need all of that for television and film. That's probably the biggest adjustment I think most stage actors have to make. In television, you, you get to do it over several times. Yeah, absolutely. You have that, but you know, you get to do that over. You get to do the stage over as well. It's mm -hmm. just that you have to wait till the next day. Right. <laughs> Different audience. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to All right. So I love it when an entertainer, you know, has a, a polished degree because it. To me, it's a good role model mm -hmm. for young people mm -hmm. that want to aspire to be a performer. Yeah, but, you know, performance is all about education. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, you may have a natural talent, mm -hmm. but to hone that natural talent and to allow that talent to carry you beyond just the, the natural abilities that you have, you have to have technique. And right. technique comes from training, and training comes from school. <laughs> so... You know. Well spoken. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the Cosby Show, 1984. Mm-hmm. Now I watched the Cosby Show, and of course that was that was a ways back. Mm-hmm. What was that experience like working with the, the Cos? Oh, it was lovely. Uh, you know, not only did I do a Cosby Show, but I did a show called Here and Now with Malcolm Jamal Warner. It was yeah. one of the those early um, uh, shows that were spinoffs from the Cosby Show. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, anytime you have the opportunity to work with people who have been in the business as long as Dr. Cosby has, it there's a it's it's a feather in your cap. Mm -hmm. It's the ability to to be in that in that be exposed to that. So it was it was quite an experience to to do that show. 
Right. Mm -hmm. And it, he uh, literally saved NBC. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And back in those days, you had NBC, ABC, and CBS. Right. You have all these cable channels. Exactly. So whoever was the high, highest rated show, everyone would watch the same right. show. Now, I was over at a friend's house. He had like, well, he didn't even, didn't even know how many channels he had. Yeah, exactly. Channels, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Up to 1,500. I'm like, my God. Right, <laughs> you know? right. But sometimes, you know, it's, the circuits get overloaded and there's just too much true, out there. True, true. All right, let's see. And I didn't know that you uh, uh, played uh, Reba in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's going back a ways, too. That's yeah, show. that was actually my first television show. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it was in 1986. 86, yeah. 86, yeah. Well, at least that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was great. We did six seasons of it. It uh -huh. was a lot of fun, a real interesting show to work on. Uh, Paul's a great comedian. Uh, and and a, like that and a dear time? friend. Oh, no, no, no. Of course, it's a character. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a character. But he's a lovely man, and we're still very dear friends. So that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun to be able to do that show. I love the movie. That's one of my favorite comedies of all time. Mm -hmm. the Big Adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And then we have uh, something I was glancing over. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see you do a lot of work with uh, lung cancer. Awareness. I do. I do. Um, uh, I was a heavy smoker. I smoked for about 23 yeah, years. And... Uh, and uh, one pack a day? Or? No, by the time I quit smoking, I was probably smoking about three packs a My day. My goodness. And when I quit, um, I, a year later and then the subsequent two years later, I lost. Uh, two of my dearest friends to lung cancer, right, I read that. and my sister Debbie is a lung cancer survivor. Yeah, I read that also. So it just made sense for me to be involved in something that I knew about. Right, um, something that near and dear. And yeah, yeah. So that's why I became involved with cancer care. Uh, the campaign for tobacco-free kids, right. um, those kinds of organizations that are organizations that do uh, outreach work for uh, lung cancer survivors, their families, and people mm -hmm. who smoke. I quit about five years ago. Good for you. I was yeah. a one pack. Yeah. Now, it's a difficult thing to do, but good for you <laughs> that you did. Yeah. yeah cold turkey. Yeah, mm -hmm. so did I. I mean, you know, the, it, it was cold turkey when I finally quit, but of, of course in the interim, I, I knew that it was something I always wanted yeah. to do. Uh, so you you never see me smoking on film. Even yeah, when I, I was smoking, I, I, did, I knew that I never wanted to see myself smoking right. uh, on film. And so I never did. Uh, but it, it is a difficult thing to do. And by the time I quit, I was ready. And, you know, so cold turkey was the way I went as well. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had a business associate that died. And one of the things she said before she died was, mm -hmm. quit smoking. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so I get the message. Good for you, <laughs> and good that you did. Died of lung cancer. Yeah. She was about fifty-six, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we uh, definitely applaud that effort, and, and hopefully it will help others do Absolutely. the same. Absolutely. If you don't quit for your health, <laughs> look how much money you save. Right. <laughs> Three True. packs a day these True. days. That's thirty dollars. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. And uh, getting back to Law and Order, uh, I read somewhere where. Uh, when you walk it down the streets in New York, you have cops that want to be in your precinct. I mean, oh, well, well, yeah, <laughs> it's funny that, you know, the, I think that's probably the highest compliment. When okay. I walk the streets or I'm on the subway, sometimes, the, you know, the police officers will yell out, hey, Lou, <laughs> you know. So it's fun, uh -huh. it, you know, to be recognized by them because it also means that what I did uh, really resonated with them. So, oh, yeah, yeah, it's quite a compliment. In another world, I'd like to be a homicide detective myself. Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'm sorry, I've got to go a little bit. She has to be downstairs. For okay, me. all right. Uh, Thank you. Okay, and in closing, oh, yeah, one last thing, mm -hmm. Lackawanna Blues. Mm -hmm. I came across that channel surfing one night. Mm -hmm. uh, now that was a completely different character from Lieutenant Van Buren. Mm -hmm. uh, was that an easy transition or... 
Uh, well, you know, it's not so much a transition as it is that it's a different character, so you just put yourself in a different place. Uh -huh. You know, um, I, I don't know if I would use the word transition. Mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty in that was literally just I was filming Law and Order at the same time, oh, so okay. you know one was on the East Coast. Law and Order was on the East Coast, and Lackawanna Blues was on the West Coast. Right. So physically, it was a difficult transition back and forth to, to film it. Okay. But you know, it was an opportunity for me. I'd never had a lead in a film, and right. it was an opportunity for me to play a very interesting woman who lived around some incredibly interesting people. Right. So it was uh, it was quite also, right? mm, and quite a learning experience. You know, I think. Everything that I try to do, I try to learn from it. So it was a great learning experience on how to lead a film and how to hold a film um, and, and hold the focus of the character through a film. So it was a great learning experience. And, and you know, the, the response that I got from it was, was really extraordinary. Oh, yeah. Thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it. So. Excellent. Okay. All righty. All right. Well, well thank you. Well, you